YouTube, uh, Jackson Lewis from Canada here again. Uh, just figured I'd do some talking about uh, bare knuckle, a uh, couple sets of bare knuckle pickups I have. I uh, figured I'd do this video on my, uh, well, my two sets of uh, uh, bare knuckle war pigs I have in my, uh, in two of my uh, guitars. Uh, both sets I have are uh, ceramic. Um, War pigs with custom covers for seven strings. Um, I guess really just going to start off. Uh, I mean, bare knuckle, as uh, most people will know, uh, but those of you who are not aware, um, a UK company that builds hand wound pickups, uh, custom custom builds, custom coloring. I've got on. Um, custom covers on both my sets. Uh, you get to choose your your pull pieces, your covers, the pickup you want. Uh, they can even, if you're willing to pay the extra pocketbook money, which is uh, uh, a lot, I'll admit, uh, you can even have a custom set of uh, actual pickups made. Uh, sound and everything. Um, I say the extra pocketbook money because bare knuckle pickups are already um, they're at the very top end of what you're going to be paying. For, uh, for guitar pickups. Um, uh, average, I'd say an average uncovered set will cost you probably around the, probably around the 300 Canadian mark, which is around 250 US, I'd say, 225, 250 US. Uh, once you start adding custom covers and pull pieces and that kind of stuff into these pickups, they price goes up very very quickly uh, I bought into it because I thought they some of them looked cool so uh, I can sort of show you what what styles they come in here if I get out of my chair this is uh, what they call uh, camouflage uh, battle worn so you can sort of see the picking on the sides there it makes them look kind of worn and cool with uh, hex hex key pull black pull pieces um, these actually weren't even supposed to go in this guitar, but, uh, they went in this one anyway, because I felt like it, um, because I was playing this as a main guitar and figured, ah, oh, may as well have the expensive, cool sounding pickups in the main guitar. Uh, another thing for people to sort of know about, uh, bare knuckle pickups is how they name, uh, sort of one of the ways they name their pickups. I'll show you this other set. This is just a... Battle, battle worn black set in my other seven string here regular screw pole pieces um, yeah they look cool uh, looking cool is only one part of the deal as we all know sounding cool is even better uh, so like I was sorry I was saying about earlier uh, one of the ways that sort of bare knuckles get their names is uh, depending on the builder it's the builders who generally name them from what I understand is names of songs um, so in this case, uh, War Pig, uh, War Pigs by uh, Black Sabbath, um, and the way they they name them is actually really kind of a kind of a cool thing. Um, doesn't mean you're getting that song's uh, the tone of that song from these pickups, no, but they maintain a a feel of that of that song. Um, so. I mean, I look at the song War Pigs and I sort of listen to how these sound and, you know, you're tuned into the right amplifier that they come through and they have that feeling. Uh, one of the things I found with Black Sabbath is um, the songs sound big, uh, thick and open. And that's exactly how these pickups sound. They're big, they've got uh, a load of bass end. Uh, you will never have to turn your bass up with using these unless that's the kind of freaky tone you're looking for because the bass in these is just huge uh, and it comes through no matter what you do I mean I've, I've tried rolling the bass off of the amps I put these through like not all the way off but say down to even 25% and they still sound like they still sound bassy and big a um, uh, good amount of uh, I mean you still get that uh, very British sound, which of course Black Sabbath is a British band. Uh, there's a good amount of mid-cut 
and the middle and treble are lower than the bass, but they but they cut through uh, still when you're playing up higher, um, especially when you go to the actually the neck pickup, uh, they they definitely come through a little bit more um, compared to the bridge pickup, which just gives you I mean the bridge pickup still has more output but less cut. Um, I really don't know what else. There's not a whole lot else to say just by going by word. Uh, there's lots of stuff on YouTube where you can check out what these pickups sound like. And uh, honestly, uh, bare knuckle really for a lot of people comes down to wow, like wow, these prices are high. And I paid. I mean, I'm on I'm on three sets of bare knuckles now. Two identical sets for these seven strings and then a third uh, different set which I'll be talking about in a separate video for uh, one of my six strings. I'm in about 450 and 50 Canadian dollars per pair on average per set on average uh, of the pickups so full dual set pickups on all the guitars um, and I still think they're worth the money they sound great uh, I mean, something I always remind people of, I mean, we like to, you know, complain and all that about our guitars, our amplifiers, ever, I mean, we, we'll make fun of guys for gear and we, you know, we give each other a hard time. We're guitar players. We like to have fun with that like anyone else does, you know, motorcycle riders, you know, Harley guys making fun of guys riding Suzukis and all that kind of crap. Um, I admit I ride a Suzuki. <laughs> um, even there though, uh... I'm a guy who firmly believes that there are the three main things to your tone that, that do the most to it will be your amplifier, your guitar pickups, and your guitar, and the type of guitar strings you use. Um, and it all depends on, and of course, the be what's best all depends on the tone you're looking for. But those three things, I think, provide you the most. Uh, does tone wood affect it? Yes. But not to the extent a lot of us, a lot of people tend to believe. Your, ele your electronic setup and your, all that stuff will do more. Your, your bridge will even do more. Um, although, I think even with bridges, they don't offer that much. Uh, they offer sustain more than the actual tone. Uh, I know I'm going to have people disagree with me there, but I mean, I look at these two sets of war pigs that are identical except for their their styling and one's coming through a Floyd Rose the other's coming through a standard tunematic here and they still sound very similar the tunematic sustains more but that's not a big deal uh, so yeah pickups amplifier and and your strings uh, and the strings comes down more to what they're made out of and how the magnets affect them in the pickups uh, anyway um, would I give you a thumbs up or a thumbs down for bare knuckle pickups? Um, it really comes down to are you? It just comes down to every other every person. I I, I clearly owning three sets now say yes, buying all three sets within a year of each other. Um, I say yes, they're worth every penny. Um, they sound fantastic, but uh, I get I do get it. I'm. You know, it's like I'm not, music. Music isn't my main my main uh, form of income in any way, shape, or form. I'm not even playing in a band right now, really. Um, so for some guys, it's not it, that the amount of money that goes into something like this isn't worth it because you can get something that's close enough or good enough um, for far less money. That's really my only complaint with bare knuckle is that they could still make the most expensive pickups on the market, but I think I think for for the amount of sales they get, dropping the price of these by about seventy five uh, British British pounds would would do a lot to help their help their sales. Not that they're really hurting for sales, but it would it would do a lot to help them. Um, just so more guys could afford them and would be willing to you know say okay the price is worth it at that much. Um, Again, I think they're fantastic pickups. The way they name them is kind of cool and, and really reminiscent of how the pickup sounds. Not necessarily, like again, not necessarily reflecting the songs, but just how the pickup sounds. These these painkillers are big. They've got a lot of bass that's open. It's not overbearing bass. It's just very 
atmospheric uh, base presence. Um, I really don't have a lot more to say. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments or message me about about them. I'm willing to answer anything you might have. So again, sorry for not really playing them. I'm just sort of giving verbal descriptions. Hopefully, I'll be able to do some uh, some actual uh, videos for you guys eventually. But uh, yeah. I'll be back here in a moment with uh, the other set of pickups I plan on talking about.